Okay, Roland, is the pressure getting to Kane? Well, it's clear it's getting to him. In fact, it's very interesting how all of a sudden 24 hours has totally changed this story. Conservatives were out saying, oh, this is the liberal media attacking him. Then you had these crazy mouthpieces like Rush Limbaugh uh, and Ann Coulter saying it's because he's black. Now Herman Cain is saying that a former staffer who worked for his 2004 senatorial campaign is the one leaking the information. So if that ca- if that staffer was cool working for a black guy in 2004 now how all of a sudden it's race yeah. they look absolutely nuts with all of these conspiracy theories and then now a former restaurant a worker who now works for perry's campaign a poster says he saw uh him make inappropriate comments a conservative radio talk show host in iowa said that herman kane made inappropriate comments oh, looks boy. like the republicans are doing herman kane in well, well, I always said that, Ben. I said that if anybody leaks this, it was from the Republican side because the Democrats had no truck in this business right now. If they were going to leak something like this, they would wait until he's a nominee. I think there's something to that. But I, I would like to say I have seen situations where uh, women have accused men of sexual harassment and, and nothing came of it. I, I think it's really quite unfair to him to assume that there's something to it without knowing more about it. I mean, here's a guy who has an extremely distinguished career. He has really come from nothing thing to be an extremely successful guy and very articulate. Let's hear a little bit more about what's going on. Just well, rumors are not enough for me to derail him. Well, then shouldn't he um, be happy to let this woman uh, feel free to speak? He should want well, that. He's a not, straight shooter. Not if, not if he thinks that she's just making things up and, and just is going to just be a loose cannon. I think if, if he can get all sides of the story out, then I think that's fine. But if, but if he's just going to have one loose cannon shouting at him, I, I don't think that's necessarily well, too cool. And after all, she did sign a confidentiality yeah. agreement. There must have been some reason for it. Well, because they, the company doesn't want her to spill the beans and wants her to keep it quiet to protect his... his uh, but that doesn't, yeah. mean that, that doesn't mean that what she said was true or serious. And we don't know what the sexual harassment was. Maybe, maybe he asked her if she would have sex with him. Maybe he just said to her, you look awfully cute in those shoes. We don't know what it was. Roland? comment here's the problem here's the problem look i understand what ben is saying and i appreciate him trying to bail herman cain out but the difference here is this here this is not a situation joy yeah. where this is a woman coming forward 12 years later with saying something happened 12 years ago this is an example of two women who lodged complaints against him with the national restaurant association according to cain not the women. That was an investigation. They came to a settlement. So, it's, so there was a process here. This isn't some, you know, allegation being thrown like a hail mary. This was something that there was a process here. So Herman King has to deal with that. And then he said, "I didn't know that not about a settlement." A few hours later, I then knew that was a settlement. And so his own conflicting answers has really hurt him more than anybody else. Uh-huh. Well, well, may I respectfully sure. say that I had a friend who was a high executive. Executive, a woman executive of a very, very, very large manufacturing company who was just extremely angry at her boss. And uh, she just said, I'm going to really fix his wag and I'm going to file a uh, sex harassment charge against him. And I said, what's the sex harassment? She said, I'll make something up. And, and this is a, an extremely intelligent, hardworking, well-educated woman who just was furious at this guy and wanted to get him. Well, so, and there was really nothing to... There has no to, bearings on this. Uh, wait a minute. To, the, you, sir, with, with all due respect, <laughs> it does. Because what I'm saying is anyone can make up anything. We don't know if it's true or not. It hasn't been through a court of law. We just don't know. Well, you, know you can try rape also, but that doesn't mean I, that lot, most women are, are telling the truth. You know, well, I mean, there's I, an exception. But I'd like to see some process of law before this man's whole career gets... Get smeared and well, if everything would just be put out in the, in the open, I think it would help him. Let's look at another moment from Herman Cain today. Let's watch this. There are factions that are trying to destroy me personally as well as this campaign. But there is a force greater, there's a force at work here that is much greater than those that would try to destroy me and destroy this campaign and this journey to the White House. And that force is called the voice of the people. That's why we're doing as well as we are in this campaign thus far. Y'all were supposed to applaud. (laughs) 
You know, I love this guy. He says, blame yourself if you don't have a job. Now he's blaming the audience for not clapping. I think that's I pretty, mean, that's, oh, come on, Joy, that's pretty damn funny. That's very, very funny. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's very yeah, funny. I don't know that he, all right, uh, listen, all right. You know, he's still ahead in the polls. That's what's interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Roland, he's still ahead of Romney. I mean, doesn't sure. that say something about both of you can answer this, that the GOP doesn't really like Romney? Well, I don't think the GOP well, has a good here's, field here's, of candidates. I mean, this is not, no, not they a do year not. when they have a powerful field of candidates. So do you think he's just going to vote for Obama in 2012 again if they don't come up with something uh, better? I, I would put any amount of money if you gave me even odds on Obama. I mean, any uh, amount. Uh, uh, go ahead. Joy, here's what you have, okay? First of all, there are eight candidates in the race right now, okay? Iowa's going to be a huge issue. Let me remind folks, at this very juncture in 2007, Senator Hillary Clinton was up some 20 points against then-Senator Obama. In 2003, at this very point, yeah. John uh, Howard Dean was running laps around the field, and so these things change. Most Republican voters, more than the majority, have not even decided who they're going to vote for. And so... Again, I understand polls are a snapshot, but I tell you, when, a cons when one of the most powerful conservative radio talk show hosts in Iowa, the first state, makes claims that Herman Cain made some inappropriate comments, this guy's on the record. He's this toast. is not anonymous. Ben, he's he, toast. He is I, I going to have a conservative like that? radio talk show host. Uh -huh. he, may, he may be toast he's or he may not himself. be. A, I mean, what, what Roland is saying is that people you think are toast are, do not turn out to be toast. And then he's saying they do turn out to be toast. So no, I, no, I, we, we just will saying. find out. Yeah, we'll just find out in the future. And, and I, I must say, his story thus far, Herman Cain's story thus far, even if he does be, not become the winner, is an incredibly impressive story, no matter how it turns out. Yeah, it's but that doesn't impressive. mean he could be president. I have an incredibly I, I don't think impressive he, story, I don't too. think he should be president. I don't think he should <laughs> be. I? I don't think he should be president. I mean, Romney yeah. has a million times more qualifications. So does Newt. So does yeah. Santorum. But uh, his is an amazing story. Okay, but now we're hearing that Kane's wife will do an interview later this week. Is that going to help his campaign, Ben? If, if she's articulate and faithful and loyal, I think Why it's is that stunning? That is stunning because she has been absolutely absent from this campaign. And so if he is going to send his wife out to do this interview, that's a sign of a candidate who says, oh, I know I'm in trouble. She has not been on the campaign trail. She hasn't done any interviews. Mm. That's a clear sign. And so I tell you right now, he knows he's in trouble. He is going yeah. to send the wife out. Well, she's been absent. Well, and do you yeah. think she's going to say it's a high-tech lynching? Didn't Mrs. Um, what's Clarence Thomas? No, he wife, said it. Clarence Thomas himself said, said it, was it was a high-tech high lynching. lynching. Yeah, is he Clarence gonna... Thomas said it, but mm -hmm. Herman Cain said a few months ago, "Oh, I know they're going to do the same thing to me." Let me tell you something. I think there's a reason why we should show a lynching photo. We should show the Emmett Till photo mm -hmm. because it is disrespectful. It is, it is disingenuous for anybody black or white to compare Herman Cain going through a political process uh, and then these stories coming out to actual lynching. Right. Where people were murdered, hung from trees. I agree with so that. you know what? For, forget the Hitler references, the lynching references. You're not lynch when you're still standing before some doctors trying to get some campaign votes. Lynching means you're dead. You're hanging from he, a tree. You know, he, Your has body a, was he has a point. When you, when you use a Hitler reference or a Nazi reference, they go bananas in politics. Well, this is very similar to that. When well, you all of a sudden a, throw out high tech lynching as if it wasn't anything, well, uh, lynching, the real lynching. You know lynching what I'm is an incredibly horrible fact of it American history. Is. Uh, but uh, people use all kinds of phrases that when they do not mean to be disrespectful. And I don't think Herman Cain means to be disrespectful to African Americans. No, he's trying to save his butt. That's what he's but, trying uh, to do. But that's what people do in politics. Yeah. That's what that's what politics is all about. That's what life is all well, about. Man, we should okay, accept it. Okay, I got to take man, a break, Roland.